This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So let's go through and look at the last heading, which is financing activities. Uh, so we raise finance, don't we, by uh, issuing shares uh, or going through there and taking out a loan, don't we? Okay. Uh, the other cash flows that you may see is maybe there is a repayment of a loan or maybe you will pay a dividend. Okay. Uh, so essentially, we're just looking at the movement in equity and in debt, aren't we? Okay. Uh, so if you're looking at debts, you look at the SFP, you look at your, your debt figures, your debentures, your loan stock within your non-current liabilities. Have a check to see if there's anything in current, but possibly unlikely. Uh, and if you increase your borrowings, you have an issue of debt, don't we? So what you have there is you have, is it a cash inflow if there is an increase in the borrowings? Because effectively what you've gone through and done there is that you have debited the bank, credited your borrowing, haven't we? Okay, so a credit increases the borrowing, doesn't it? And the debit to the bank increases your cash balance. Uh, if you've repaid the debt, that means there is a decrease in borrowings. So you have, is it a cash outflow? Again, with the debits and credits, uh, with a decrease in borrowing, so a reduction in the liability. So you debit the borrowings and credit the bank. Okay, so as there is a credit to the bank and a reduction in the borrowings, you have a cash outflow, don't we? Okay. Uh, equity. Uh, when we look at the equity, it's just the movement uh, in share capital and share premium. Just be careful with regards to, to when we have a bonus issue. Okay. So if we were to draw it up with, is it 2T accounts? So you've got there, is it your share capital? Uh, you have there, is it a share premium T account? Again, uh, your brought forwards on both are on the credit side, aren't they? Uh, the carry forward figures are on the, the debit side. Uh, and if you have issued shares, you debit the bank, credit share capital, and credit share premium, don't we? And therefore, the, the, the movement in the share capital, the movement in the share premium, if you combine them together, that gives you the cash and the total issue of shares. So with that there, you don't really need to draw up the T account, do we? We just need to look at the opening and closing share capital and share premium and see what the increase actually is. However, just be very, 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 very careful because what you could have is you could have a, a bonus issue, couldn't you? So what you've got there is that you credit your share capital. And as it is a bonus issue, you, you debit your share premium. So here the entries will be there to your share premium. And there is it to, to share capital, isn't it? Because what you've got there. That is the entry, isn't it, for a bonus issue. And the key thing that you have about a bonus issue is that there is no cash, is there? So your movement in share capital and share premium will be distorted by the bonus issue. So what I would do there is if you note that there is a bonus issue within a question, I would draw up the T account because I think it goes through there and makes it a bit easier as opposed to just doing addition and subtraction like you would do if there was no bonus issue. So just have that as a word of warning. OK, yeah. Bonus issue. There is no cash impact. So draw up a T account to work out the movement in share capital and share premium. OK. Uh, and the last little bit there of your financing activities is looking at your dividend paid. I always go through there and put it in financing. There is an option within the standard to go through there and put it in your operating activities along with your interest and tax paid. But for now, 
think about it purely as a financing activity. OK, you've issued shares. If you issue shares, you will pay a dividend. OK, uh, to work out the dividend paid, you look at the retained earnings. That's where your dividend is paid from. You could draw it up as a T account like we have done there. So you put in your opening retained earnings on the credit side, don't we? Uh, you put your closing on the debit side, ready to bring forward next year. Uh, the retained earnings are adjusted or increased by the statement of profit or loss profit for the year. So you take that profit for the year or profit after tax, if you like old speak, uh, on the retained earnings. And then your balancing figure is the dividend paid, whereby you have credited the bank or credited dividend payable and debited the retained earnings okay it is a dividend paid isn't it so that there is an outflow okay again if you don't like t accounts please don't tell me that you like don't like t accounts that's sacrilege you should be loving t accounts you're training to be an accountant even though it's a management accountant you still need knowledge of t accounts uh, if you don't like using the t accounts then what you could do alternatively is you could just take your brought forward retained earnings you can add on your profit for the year and you can then deduct your carry forward retained earnings okay because essentially that's what we're doing in the t account aren't we but when we balance it up we add up the right hand side with the brought forward and the profit we then make that the total on the left hand side and then deduct the retained earnings carry forward to get the dividend paid. There we go. So you take your brought forward, add on the profit for the year, deduct the carry forward, and hey ho, that will give you your dividend paid. Okay. I have no objection if that is the way that you work out the dividend paid within the exam. If you work it out using a T account, brilliant. I just want to make sure that you get the right answer. If you get the right answer, it's all that matters, isn't it? OK, uh, I haven't put any numerical examples within there because I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you will see those areas examined individually within the objective tests within the exam. You'll see bits of it in the next video as we go through there and have a look. A full blown statement of cash flows example. See you in a minute.